guys, it's Danielle here, back with another video. And haven't been on here in a while. Hello to my main channel. I post a lot of my backup now. If you don't follow it, go follow it. It's Danny Vlogs. But I'm trying to post on here sometimes. I just feel like it's really negative on here. But I want to post on here because I know most of my supporters are on here because a lot of people don't know about my backup. But anyways, I haven't done like a sit down talking video in a really long time. And I feel like it's just... It's just necessary because I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, about like advice on how to deal with things like this. And personally, I've been going through it. So I feel like why not? Why not talk about it? Um, I just filmed three hauls. I don't know if I said that already. Because I went shopping today. It's like might as well film all of it today. Didn't have anything else to do, so it came in handy. But we're going to talk about some things. Um... I always, always get questions about, cause I'm like a pretty like lonely person. Like I, I have some friends, very close circle, don't hang out with them too much, but I still have them. So it's not like I'm not, like not have any friends, but lately I've been noticing some fake shit going on um, with a lot of people, not even like close, close people, but just, you know, like some people that I knew. Recently, I launched a brand and I was so proud of myself because I had, you know, this has been my dream forever to come out with, with a woman's brand. Um, I'm working on a clothing brand right now, so it's just, it's been a really crazy path in my life and just a really, really amazing chapter that I'm going down and I want to, you know, experience with it, with amazing people and people that are going to stand by my side. And that's been really hard to do that. And I didn't think it would be, I thought, you know, people would be so happy for me, but instead it's almost like they're like, envying me because of it and um yeah so um you know I just I want to cherish this you know moment and it's hard when you have such negative people around that are wishing nothing but for your downfall and I know that we all have those people you can think that someone is your closest friend but they're not you can think that someone loves you so much but it's just an act. And that's why I have that tattooed on me. I have that quote tattooed on me from Vampire Diaries. Don't underestimate the allure of evil because even the purest hearts are drawn to it. And that's true because you can think someone has the most purest heart, but they don't. Um, I have asked a lot of people that I knew like, hey, um, you know, I would love to send you my products and I would love for you to, you know, just like, you know, let me know how you feel or, you know, post about them, whatever you want. Like, you know, like just help spread the word. Like, honestly, like, um, I, you know, originally want to get somewhere where, you know, we can become like being sold in all time, you know, things like that. Um, because I feel like it's such, it's honestly like my company, not to brag, but it's a pretty amazing company. You know, we, it was made by a teenage girl, like struggling to know what to use down there. And I wanted to help other teenage girls. And there's such a strong and powerful, you know, meaning behind it. And you guys know about my situation where I had, you know, um, the abortion and, or the A word. Probably shouldn't say that, I might get taken down. Um, but after that had happened, I became really into women rights. And I, you know really started investing my time and learning about what I could do to help the woman in this world. And especially lately, what's been going on with the Roe versus Wade, I mean, there's just been so much going on. And as women, I think we need to stick together and, you know, create brands like this that help out teenage girls and all that type of stuff. And even older women, whoever it is, it's such an awkward topic to talk about down there. And I also make body care. I don't just do um, you know stuff for down there because I think body care is also really important. Self care in general is something I'm very passionate about. I think that you you need to have self care. That should like be on your schedule. But whatever. Um, so I just I got really into it and like it became my dream to make something to make women feel better about themselves. And you know that's you know a really important part in being a woman is you know taking care of down there. So that was my goal with this company and. It genuinely does have such a strong message and it was really sad to, you know, get that feedback from other girls who didn't want to help spread the word. Especially, you know, some of the people being such like closest people to me and it was just really sad. And I think one of the main things I want to talk about on here is I, you know, 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I built my companies all by myself. I, I built myself all by myself. Um, and I don't want anyone to help me build this. Like, you know, I want to be, you know, someone who I built this company, you know, through myself. But it would be nice, you know, for my friends to like spread the word, but you know, whatever. Um, but I think it's just, it's really hard. And if you are trying to start your own business, it is really hard. And you know, people think it's like, um, like really easy, especially for social media influencers to start their own brand. And I'm sure it is because I'm sure that a lot of investors just like, because I've been asked like before I started this brand, like I've even been asked by like investors, like, hey, like I'm gonna drop this product. And um, like, do you wanna be like the head of it? Do you wanna make it look like it's your brand? So like we can sell more and you'll get a profit off of it. And I always said no, because my dream was to be an entrepreneur. And I was like, when I start my own brand, it's going to be my own brand. And that's what I did. I, it took me so long. There was, there was all these people coming to me and they were like, Hey, like, let's, let's do this brand together. Like, we'll do it for you. And automatically I was like, no, I was like, you're not, I'm not just going to slap my name on someone else's product. Like this needs to be my product. And um, I had, you know, known this girl for a while who, you know, had worked on, you know, a lot of feminine care for herself and, you know, for her own business. And like, we were like pretty good friends. And I reached out to her and I was like, hey, like, I really, like, my dream is to start my own feminine care brand. Like, give me some tips. And um, she was like, no, she was like, she was like, I'll help you make your own feminine care brand. So we made it together and we made this like huge team. And we sat down and we came up with all, you know, the ingredients that we wanted, um, the bottles that we wanted. And of course, you know, like right now it's a small business and we don't have, you know, the extra funds to have like these extravagant bottles, but we do what we can, which I think is really important for small businesses to appreciate that. And we sat down and we literally like designed everything. And it was really cool because a lot of teenagers that actually you guys don't know this, but behind the brand is actually a lot of teenagers working on it too. So, um, you know, most of the girls that help with the brand are actually teenagers. So it really is a, it's a really was a brand to help out teenagers, not only with, you know, um, like helping teens find products, but also helping teenage girls like learn about it and stuff like that. And even me, like I'm learning about it being this business owner, but it was just really like important to me to make sure that it was, you know, my own thing that I created all myself. And so if you are trying to be a business owner, it's hard. But it's worth it because it makes me so happy when I see people get my products and they love them. And it even makes me more happier seeing people feel really good about themselves and, you know, feeling secure with themselves, especially down there. It's, it's so important. You know, even if you feel awkward about it now, one day or another, you're going to have to face the fact that you got to do what you got to do for down there. So, you know, um, but yeah, and I, I think I just wanted to, you know, talk about that too, but also just talk about people and you know you're gonna have people in your life that are just gonna wish your downfall and you just have to ignore it and go on with your life and you know grow as a person get better and I think the way to grow as a person is experiencing people like that because it teaches you a lot um if I didn't have like if I didn't go through all the stuff I went through in my life I probably would not be the person I am today so I think it's just it is a really important thing to go through even though it sucks it's still still is really important and it does really help you with life lessons so you just gotta be careful too i mean you never know because trust me if i if i would have known that like some of the people i trusted so much years ago would have done the things that you know they've done to me now i would have never even talked to them but you know what, it's okay because I, I learned from that. And that's how you need to look at it. Um, I even have a tattoo on myself, another one. Life goes on, life goes on. What are you gonna do about it? Just go on. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about that because I feel like it's really important. And um, to all the younger girls, even if you're older than me, if you look up to like me, which I'm so thankful for, thank you. That is, I can't believe people look up to me because to myself, I'm just like this weird person. But some people do look up to me and I'm really thankful for that. Um, but also, 
you know, to the girls that want to start their own business and they look up to me for that. It is possible. It's going to be a really long and hard journey, but it's possible. And I'm telling you right now, you're probably going to lose a lot of people through it, but it's worth it. Um, you know, like I said, it's always going to happen. You're always going to lose people because sometimes people in your life can't handle when someone else has something going on. Like, for example, you could be there with them through like their biggest thing, but as soon as, and you know, you're there for them for their successful things, but as soon as you have something successful, they're jealous or they're mad or they don't like you anymore or they distance themselves because they can't handle being around you doing successful things because it, it might make them feel less than or it might make them feel insecure, but that's not a friend. And if it does make you feel insecure, you know, have a conversation with the person and be like, hey, like it just it makes me sad sometimes because, you know, I see you doing all this stuff, blah, blah. Even though that still shouldn't make them feel sad because they're your friend. You should never apologize for being successful. Um, but some people are like that. So, you know, I feel like just if you have a friend like that, distance yourself because they just it just gets worse and worse. But I just. I don't know, I haven't had a talking video on here in a while because on my backup I don't really do talking videos and a lot of people have been asking me like, when are your talking videos coming back? So, here we are. Um, I'm really excited though for my clothing brand. It's really cool. Um, I just sent in the designs for like one of the first drops and it's really cool. I'm trying to make like a streetwear type thing. And the same with this brand, like I design everything myself. Like I literally... Um, whether I like make a collage on my phone of like, you know, ideas or whether I like literally take out a sketchbook and I just sketch up a quick little design and I send it over to them. So I think that's really important too, is like putting your all, if you want to start a brand, like put your all into it. Cause it's really cool to have such a unique brand that like no one else can say that they have. Um, so yeah, just get out of bed and go do it and I know it trust me it's exhausting because like I can literally sit at home all day and do nothing and still be exhausted because I'm mentally exhausted and a lot of the reasons why I'm so mentally exhausted and this is a lot of the reasons why I don't hang out with people is because I'm so mentally exhausted from them because I know people don't talk about this enough I did a video on my backup and literally everyone was like thank you for talking about this because people don't talk about it enough and I totally agree they don't the reason why I never like really want to go out is because I'm like mentally exhausted and it genuinely like just makes you not want to do anything. You get so mentally exhausted from things like either you get like screwed over by people or you're dealing with fake people or you just you have a lot going on in your life. It genuinely does exhaust you and it's perfectly fine. Take your time to, you know, be by yourself, you know, gain yourself back and then, you know, go out, have fun. Um, but it does get hard, especially like if you like do what I do, social media. Social media is just social media in genuine. Social media in general is just mentally exhausting, especially if you are an influencer. If you're an influencer, you know it is just oh my god, it's just never ending. So yeah. But let me know what other like advice video you guys want me to talk about. This was just something that I wanted to talk about. Um but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys want me to like make this channel like a more like talking videos, I will because I don't mind doing that. And then my backup for like the hauls and like the vlogs and all that because that's kind of what I do on there. So let me know. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.